Hello everyone, my name is Sinner and we've got something new for you today. However, before we get into the video, I'd like to take a moment to tell you that nearly 70% of people who watch our videos are not subscribed. If you're not subscribed, you could do me a huge favor by liking the video, commenting below, subscribing to the channel, and ringing that bell. It really helps with the channel and lets me know that you're liking what I'm making. Alright, without further ado, let's get into the video. Fate hath steered thee to this encounter. Hmm. Wilt thou enter into my service? I am the witch Rani. I stole death long ago, and search now for the dark path, that I might one day upend the whole of it, and rid the world of all that came before. Well, has that roused thy interest? Rid the world of all that's come before? I mean, I'm curious. I see. A choice well made. Thou art a rare sword. Not many would have accepted the offer, but I require as much of those under my command. I anticipate good work from thee. Good. Then I ask we proceed with haste. There is, in my service, a half-woven warrior by the name of Blythe. I would have thee join him in searching for the hidden treasure of Nokron, the Eternal City. I have called for Blythe to greet thee below. Take from him the particulars. Ah, and there wilt thou find E.G., my war counselor, and Salavis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts also. Heed not their peculiarities. Feel secure in gaining from them what advantage thou canst. I am sure the others will be doing just the same. Speak with the three who await thee below. Thou needst not indulge them unduly. But they too wish to appraise thy worth. It hath been a passing long time since a newcomer entered my service after all. Speak with the th thou needs not in it hath been Okay. So three amigos are below now. Oh we can't use our weapons. Okay, sounds good. explained everything. Again, I am Iji, the Karian royal family's dedicated blacksmith and Lady Rani's war counselor. I am told that you are searching for Nokron with Blythe. I will give you whatever guidance I can and pray for your success. My apologies for the misleading words of warning. I never imagined that an audience let alone service to Lady Rani was in your fate. I, for one, should have seen it, but I did not. Do forgive me, my fellow. Let us give all that we can of ourselves, together, for Lady Rani. Let us give all together. Yes, sounds good. Where are the other ones? Hello. Ah. I heard about you. Good to finally meet. Name's Blythe. Sworn sword to Mistress Rani. Glad to have you aboard. Well, getting right to business. I'm situated in Limgrave right now. The eternal city of Nokron lies somewhere at the bottom of this land. I'm planning to go below through the well in the mistwood. See if I can't find the road to Nokron from there. I'm going below through the well. See if I can't keep me waiting. Well in the mistwood. <clears throat> I see. You must be Rani's new hireling. Yes. 
Yes, I've heard all about you. I am Salovis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts. I don't know what it is the mistress sees in a provincial tarnished like you, but since we have the misfortune of serving the same lady, I ask that you kindly try not to drag us all down with you. I reside in another tower close by. Come and pay me a visit. Should you wish to be of actual service to Mistress Rani, if it were up to me, I wouldn't waste my time on the likes of you. But who am I to stand against the wishes of my lady? I reside. Come and pay. Should you, if it were up. But it's up to me. I do. I didn't take a dump and then rub it all over the ground. Or not to me, I'd find some possible. Do we not leave right now? We can't leave right now. Okay, sounds good. What up to me? <laughs> At least those the NPCs are here. Maybe there's another one of them hanging around. We probably have to go back into the tower to find the last one. Oh, we need to go talk to Lady Ronnie again. One of the two. Hmm. Yeah, we probably have to go talk to Ronnie again. Fall off the cliff, fall off the ledge. Ah, allow me to forewarn thee. I shall soon enter my slumber, and it will be some time before I wake. This doll's body is not without its hindrances. Still, I have high hopes for thee. I look forward to the good news when I arise. I shall soon, and it will be some time. I have high. I look for. Okay. Sounds good. Wait a second. Is there something under this? I'm scared. Possibly. No, this is just the entrance. All right, so now we're struggling with her. We can leave, I think. So maybe her buddy, her uh, preceptor, is in this tower over here. If so, getting what we can from his, uh, fairly, un uh, um, hmm, he's not necessarily uncouth. <clears throat> his, uh, incredibly unfriendly ass. <laughs> Could, uh, be useful. Vernon's Tower. Okay, sounds good.
So he's in a different tower. So he's probably at this one. And the dragon seems to have sped up its movement, so probably have seen us. We'll go there, the dude will be like, oh, it's you. Right, well, we can attack. You. Well, well, you took me at my word. Did you not realize I was merely being polite? Oh, you provincials never cease to amaze. Uh, I suppose you're here now. Perhaps I'll give you something to do. I'd like you to find a woman called Nefeli to administer a potion. Even you can do that much, can't you? Good, good. Why not? Now I shall hand over the potion in question. Find Nefeli and ensure she drinks it. I expect glad tidings, and soon. I have no time for idle chit-chat. The only thing I will hear from you is a report of your task's completion. Are we understood? Then off you try. I have enough on my plate. Right, well, you, uh, you have fun with that. Let me go see if you got any stuff I can steal from you. Get out of my power. <laughs> what do you think you are doing? Not a mimic. Oh, a member is still no. Well, I mean, that was nice to get. Oh no. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> Thought I was far closer than I was. What's the ground there? Didn't matter if I zig doors there. Okay, she's asleep now. Okay, and she said dull, so I have a feeling that she's some sort of monster. Turns out she's actually super evil. I mean, we figured that out. She was talking about destroying the world or something? Destroying that would come which game before? Probably one of those people who wants to destroy the world. Well, let's go get our souls back. Try not to ride off a cliff and die. Y'all back? <laughs> Base. Avengers. <laughs> you know, the nice part at least is that at least I still have that memory stone that I put up. Oh, come on! Oh, black wolf mask. Not too bad. <laughs> Characters. Uh, if, if, it isn't, if it isn't bolted down, I'll just steal it. Okay, so what do we just pick up? Give a wolf mask? 
It's heavy though. I'm do that. Um, the valley, last time I saw her, she was like over here in the. She's over here. So we'll see. Hmm. Is he here? Uh, you. What is it? He's like, good. Uh, yeah. Yes. Always good to see you safe. So, what do you need? <laughs> Maybe I should tell you. Lately, I feel I'm on the precipice of falling into a deep, fathomless slumber. And I have an inkling it could spell trouble for you somehow. So I just wanted to get the apology out of the way beforehand, since you're so scary and all. Hey, come on now. Don't be like that. You'll be fine. Come on. Come on. What could go wrong? Everyone dies. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Everyone instantly explodes. We have two of these. Now my assumption is that you'll get enough of those to open everything in the game. And I know where we can buy a lot. So during my testing, I know that there's a crossbow in here because of my testing. Sight Crif Crepus's black key crossbow. Black key bolts. And now this one oh, it needs two, huh? I mean, there's a chest in there, and we know where we can buy some. Hmm. Ah, you. Please, leave me be. It's pathetic, I know, but I... I need to think. No, you're good. Alright, let's go buy the other keys from over here. From these, uh, from the twin ladies, twin hags. Whatever they're called. The twin maiden husks. Which is by all three. Can you imagine those following you around? See <laughs> runs, right? Sounds sort of like a blacksmith, I guess. Didn't expect it seem familiar. Man, where's our S the soup? Alright, so what is in here? Assassin's Prayer Book. Okay. What is that? Due to clerk to require new incantations. Okay. Could be useful. Might not be. But could be useful. We haven't met a cleric trainer out in the world, so to speak. Out in the wild. 
So I guess we can give it to this guy. Ah, well then. That is a work of heresy. Its incantations bear no lineage from the Erd Tree. <sighs> Very well. I'll take it off your hands. Alright, so we get darkness. And assassins approach. Silence footsteps. Reduces fall damage and sound. Interesting. May the golden orb. Okay, sounds good. Now, what about you guys? You have returned. What is it? Ah, the chill tainted by Anne's lesser greater will. Okay. Sounds good. Um, hmm. Right. Okay, well. Let's figure out what we're going to do next. All right, so <clears throat> I was thinking what we could do, where we could go now. Uh, I, Sorry, I want to try and get the maps if I can. So I was looking over here and yeah, we can go get that map up. Go get, we can go grab that map. So that should, um, this should reveal a little bit more of the map, which will be great for us. And let's just go ahead and put a marker on there. I actually noticed that if you press square or whatever the whatever it is on the Xbox controller, uh, what would it be? <clears throat> X. So if you press square on the PlayStation controller or X on a um, Xbox controller, you can pull these up markers. So. Uh, we'll we'll put that there just so that tells us where we need to go. Let's go get the map of this area. But let's go and well, it is. Hmm. Oh. Okay. I, I see we're supposed to go here like really early. Huh? Put fire bows. Uh. Okay. Why are we being told about bows now? That we can use. Ah. Oh, there's a giant over there? He's shooting at us. Alright then, giant. You want to dance? We shall dance. Oh, his doesn't have any tracking. That's good, I like that. This big, whatever these are. Holy crap, they have no magic resistance whatsoever. <laughs> so we just annihilated that guy. Holy crap. <clears throat> okay, so these murals to uh, the author of Bazaar. The siege of Castle Morn, a lone hero fights for his vengeance, only to fall at the hands of hands of Lord of Lord Godfrey. Did he then join Lord Godfrey's Lord Godfrey's army and go around doing cool stuff? Maybe. Let's go in here and see what is going on in Castle Moor. Oh, I guess we can get up there too. Alright, what's in here? No ambush so far. Liar head. Right. 
Hold on. Let's keep going. And I wasn't expecting to go in here, but I wasn't intending to go in here originally, but why not? Let's do it. <clears throat> I know how effective it would be to have defenses that are based on needing to go up an elevator to get inside. I, I think that would probably be less effective. Got some more. Alright. Nothing behind this now. Where are those dudes though? We'll probably one-shot them. Man, they just yeah, hung everyone. Okay. Nice. The little psychics. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, it's just a bunch of you. I want all of you to get together. Nice. Ow. No. Nice. Oh. Okay. It's like a, a boss version of these guys. Gotcha. What else is there? Fire materials. Ooh, we more materials. Let's cozy up in this fire here. Fantastic. It smells like burning corpses. And. Oh, smoldering butter. I'm kind of glad they made it. Ah! <laughs> So to say, I'm kind of glad they did it so the fire doesn't hurt you, and then fire hurts you. So it's small fires don't hurt you, but big fires do. Oh, fuck. What fight's going on over there? Oh, it's one of you guys. It's been a while since I killed one of your kind. Anyway. Oh, yeah. We're supposed to come here way earlier than that. We got a sanctuary stone. <laughs> a smitten stone. Yeah, we're supposed to come here like super early. It almost feels like we're like we are attacking a a castle that was built in a swamp. Well, we didn't build it probably into a swamp, and then they built the second castle right on top of the first one, and it also fell into the swamp, and then they built the third castle. And that one sort of like sank a little bit and then fell over and fell into the swamp. And then the then the fourth one though, the fourth one, they built that castle and it stood. And it feels like uh, we're just Sir Lancelot going to that castle. <laughs> <laughs> and some of you are going, oh, I get that, and the rest of you are just absolutely confused as to what I am talking about. Unfortunately. <laughs> Don't worry. Ah.
Don't worry, it'll it'll make sense. We just need to get some like coconut shells together and then like tap them together. As we uh, follow our friend around who is going like this. <laughs> you know, just like skipping along like that. Don't worry, don't don't worry, it'll be fine. If you're not getting the reference, ask uh, ask your friends. Right, we got Orshis. We have Archer boys. They're sort of Archer boys. Okay, well, if you guys want to do it that way. Don't worry, I will win. Oh no! <laughs> That's what else is here. Brace it. Really? Is there gonna be something? There is. Actually. And we're at Lulian, but uh, how do we get back up? I don't think we do. I think that was a point of no return. <laughs> oh, hunt! Oh, oh, oh. This is too damn bad. I hear them. Let's go ahead then. Be wary of death. Ah, death pit. Let's do a running jump then. Oh. And what about here? I did it, yeah, 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 yeah. They did it. Okay, so how did they get stuff up here? <laughs> I am very confused. What's in here? Oh. Hello. Goodbye. We got one of these slimes. The stones you take from magic. Hey, you take a nice amount. There. You're dead. But we should have just used Carrion Slicer. Now imagine if we could just sneak up on them and one shot them entirely. Do a shinobi death blow to them, if you will. Ah. Time for jumping. Huh? Well, you could jump down. Huh? Let's throw the rest of this stuff. This dude has a big tail, doesn't he? Hello, Brando. Do you have a follow up? Yes. Yes, you do. Unfortunately. Uh, so, what are these guys? Are these demi humans? That's what the smith is. Talismans ahead. Well, let's go see what we can get out of these talismans. Not a mimic, supposedly. Twin blade talisman. Nice. Okay, we can't go inside. So, what is a twin blade talisman? It's twelve hit 
of a chain attack. Right. Flame Drake. We don't necessarily need that right now. This is max equip load. This is damage and impact of headshots. Could be nice. Maybe we can use that to get down. Yeah, I don't think we're really going to get to light load and keep everything. But I think having uh, at least something on everything is going to be a bit more important. It gives us more protection on them. Yeah, and I do, it doesn't matter. Like, when we put on everything, we're going to end up in that anyway. Oh, that stays at medium, though. Because now we can give you a, a wolf man. And go, uh, you know, be Master Doggo. <laughs> Master Doggo the four, Master Doggo the fourteenth of the fifteenth of the sixteenth of the thirty-second line of the blah 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 of the uh, of, of the eighty-ninth uh, family. Believe it. Are you put on all orange? <laughs> Scream at people to believe things. I will become the, the blah 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 Hukage. <laughs> oh. Hello there. Goodbye. Ready. So I gave it a stuff last, but I like it. So where can we go now? Over there. <clears throat> What's this? Tarnished Golden Sunflower. Sounds good. I almost walked off. I almost slipped off the edge, fell to our death. To our deeds. Well done. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so what else is here? Ooh, jumping button. This is actually one of those areas where the mouse and keyboard users might have an edge. So they can really line it up and just move off where they only want to move. Okay, let's heal. Switch over to that. Okay, sounds good. A whip! Mm, we need to find a black leather set. That way we can make full use of that. Excellent, really. Excellent. Boom the bar. All right then. We've got the. We got this. Ah, oh, seems familiar. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, so there's a boss bug over there. 
First off, turn back. Seek grace. Yes. Okay, sounds good. Ah. Oh, it's you. You got all the wheel. But I'm guessing the ground was far more distant than I thought. There's this item ahead. You say so. Just ahead. Some burst my thing still. Yeah, I'm in. And what about you guys? You guys chill? Yes. Okay, my god. Oh no, they all want a bees. <laughs> we don't want a bees at all. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so to five strikes, they. Oh, these guys drop very well, do they? Oh no. Three, four, five. Can I like crit them? No. This is just another opportunity to get a charge, another charge back off. Sounds good. So they drop grave wart. Which is nice. Okay, so those guys, they're not aggressive unless you attack them, and then they are very aggressive. Not really. Like okay, so is it some... Oh no, there's a crab. It's a crab! Fire us. Can we get in here? <laughs> He can't get in here, but I can't leave either. <laughs> Alright, sounds good. Does he know where we are? Yes. Who does? Oh no. He knows where we're at, and we know where he's at. And neither of us can do it anymore. We are stuck. Two, three, four, five. So we just has a five hit combo. Two, three, four, five. Oh well, we got our uh, we got our flats back now. <laughs> so good enough. Let's go into that boss fog because I am curious about that. More importantly, can we jump off this bridge and live? Yes. All right, we don't even take damage. Okay, so what is in here? Leonine Misbegotten.
looks like a good time. Huh. They had their own spell it looks. doesn't have a lot of magic resist, so you can probably kill him pretty easily. We can cheap him out using the uh, swift if we want to. We'll give him about three attempts with the carrion slicer, and then we'll just cheap him out. Sound good. No one yawns. Okay. Let's see. Just spamming attack. We just needed to kill him. So the grafted blade greatsword. But he wasn't using the grafted blade, he was using something else. Okay, so it's good. Is there another place we can find him? It's, he wasn't using what looked like that. 40 strength and 14 dex. No, we can't even move with this thing on us. <laughs> oh, we have like a Game of Thrones throne looking sword. <laughs> it only has a three hit combo. Because why would you ever need anything else? No charge attacks. <clears throat> yes, yeah, it's, it's like a spy hunter in previous Souls games. Charge attacks. Yeah. I can't do a rolling attack. And I can't use that either. So what is it what is it special supposed to be? Spinning weapon? Yeah. No. Um Oath of Vengeance. Well we can't use it, so we can't even be what its special is, is supposed to be. Did we activate the shit? Yes, yes we did. Alright, well Is there anything on the rest of this? Ooh, imagine if we could have the boss jump up. Have the boss jump off and die. That'd be funny. Seek Monarch, Death Ahead. Yeah, and there's the uh, content full shelf, really close to the edge. Make it easier to see it. Well, I guess. By the way, there are parts of Hawaii, for example, that are like this. Well, not like this entirely, but that are very similar to like to this. Plus, if you were to go down to the uh, continental shelf, 
so where the um, so you know how you have like Hawaii and you have like California or France so those are on the coast right they have, they have a sea based coastline well <clears throat> the thing is the coast that goes down off of the goes into the beach and then onto the coast and it goes down but there's a point where it goes where it seems to flatten out a little bit and then it gets to the shelf where it's almost like a 90 degree angle not, that just goes straight down for miles and that uh, fall off there is called the continental shelf anyway absolutely uh, terrifying <laughs> yeah. I mean, you wouldn't find yourself down there, but, you know. Oh, Weeping Peninsula. So it looks like, so it looks like Australia, a little bit. Except for this part. Makes me think of Australia. It's, it's down in the down under. <laughs> Alright, so we've got Castle Moher. And besides the... Besides the Rampart, the Rampart Jail. We're behind the castle. Okay, so we've been to Castle Morn. We've beaten that guy. We can't use our horse. So I guess we can go over here. I mean, we could jump down there. Not recommended. No one's gonna stop us. A stone sword key, nice. <clears throat> what else is here? Red fire. Or magic. One, two, ah. Three. One, two. Three. A glass shout. Let's see more of these guys. Alright, so what's left? What's next? Back over here at the Weaving Peninsula. Hmm. Just the endless ocean beneath. Hmm. She named herself Geralt or something, then we can be a white wolf. Alright, so. Does that mean we need to carry around two great swords? <laughs> that are obligatory armaments? We have to carry around a catalyst as well. We have to have a bunch of different elemental spells. Hello, dog. Die. Oh no. Get, get, get. Die, dog. There's some more smoothing stones. Have to go over there into that battle. Pumpkin head comes back. Nice. Kind of glad about that. That fire leads up there to a little something we could potentially use. To a place we haven't been yet. So, what is over here? Oh! Ah. Okay. Ah. Is what it is. We'll just have to we'll be able to clear them next time. We'll just kill them this time. Ah, we didn't send it back down. 
This actually sucks that I have to wait for this damn elevator every time. <laughs> put, it the, put, it, put, this up, put the side of grace on the other side of the elevator, guys. Even though it's soon done, I still have to wait for it. It's kind of just annoying. Like, you have plenty of space here, too. Like, that's nice. Just put it right here. Don't worry, I've learned my lesson with you guys. So I'm just gonna make sure I kill every one of you. <sighs> you know those guys remind me of? The, uh, like... That Mario movie that they made in the 90s? Come on, man. That's what they remind me of. Huh. Who's a bad dog? Yeah, but then you have this incredibly long delayed attack. Man. They delay their attacks way too fucking much in this game. Just go. It's... It's not like... Like, I know why they're doing it, but it's just like... It's kind of fucking annoying. Like, I kind of liked the purity of Dark Souls 1. Enemies would just swing when they're going to attack you. Instead of like. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's, it's just. Just swing the fucking weapon already. Wait, he fights them? Nice. Uh. I also didn't like that enemies can, uh, can ignore stun locks. Oh, they make them so unlockable or not look down. I'll give players the same treatment. I don't know if players have the same treatment, but... I mean, I've noticed that I can be stunned locked to death. I don't necessarily understand why enemies get a, uh, a free pass. I don't know why it's weapon fucking went through my blood. 